Hello everybody, welcome to another episode of LT Outdoors. Today, I'm actually on the beautiful Tawa State Dock, another place I've been fishing since I was a kid. Lots of room to fish out here, and I'll tell you, it can have its good days and its bad days. White fishing can be a lot of fun here come November, around mid-November. But today I'm actually out to see if I can get into some burbot, which is a very peculiar fish, but it's actually my favorite fish as far as eating goes. And we'll see if we can maybe get into some of the big cats that's also known out here. Um, they get some really big cats out here on the bay. So we'll see if we can hook into something like that. Who knows, maybe get a lake trout. So stay tuned. I hope you guys enjoy this. Hit that subscribe button. Make sure you like it. Got something hitting this rod. Don't feel very big, but sometimes bites can be deceiving. I can't tell if it's on there. If it is, it's a little probably a goby. Yep. It's a goby. Now this is actually a nuisance fish. This is a non-native species. And you actually have to kill these. You can't throw them back. Legally, you're supposed to squish them. Just had a hit on the minnow. That could be something good. Ooh, that's a good fish. That's a big fish. Got a big fish, guys. Got a big fish on the minnow. What I'm using today, I've actually got those crappie rigs that you see me use in Saginaw. I've actually got them with, uh, this, this rod has minnows laying down near the bottom. I gotta be careful on them because if it's a white fish by chance it could rip their mouth real easy, but I don't think it is. It's staying down. Really hoping it's a burbot because <laughs> I want to show you guys what they look like. Oh, I thought I just lost him. I hope I didn't. Nope, I didn't. He's just twisting. scary part is there's a lot of rocks down there by the wall that's the reason I'm fishing here because burbot like to hang out near the rocks so I'm kind of worried that he'll get down get the hook down in those rocks or the sinker it's a big fish keep thinking he's coming off and all he's doing is rolling. Oh, I 
that's a burbot. It's a beautiful one. Yeah. This is what I wanted to show you guys. Like I said, it is a goofy looking fish. They don't look edible, but I'll tell you what, this is by far the best eating fish out there. Like by far. <laughs> I, I will take that over a walleye, over perch, anything. This is exactly what I wanted to get, exactly what I wanted to show you guys. As you can see, they're kind of like an eel. I mean, look at that. Cool body, beautiful colors. <laughs> look at that. Yeah, he just swallowed that, too. That's a good sign. I hope they're uh, going to bite good today, man. That'd be cool. Look at these sunken eye. That one's missing, actually. And they got little whiskers. That is a way, you know, a lot of people mix these up with dogfish. Totally different. Different color. Dogfish have a spot on their tail. This one's got a chunk missing off his tail, actually. <sighs> That's awesome. Let's hope we get some more, guys. That's a good hit. My line just totally slacked up, guys. Hopefully that fish is still there. Yep, I think he is. Yep, I got him. Oh, another good fish. not fighting like the one earlier. Oh, it's another bourbon. Just not as big. Ah. <laughs> but you know what? I will take it. That is cool. Yep, I was going to throw him back, but this one actually swallowed it. Just like the first one. He actually had both hooks. He's hungry. He took both minnows. Yep, he took both. But as you can see, guys, um, hopefully you can see all I'm using. This is that crappie rig that you see me use a bunch of times for catfish and that. And, uh, you know, I got my spinners on there. And I'm rigging it up with a... Uh, with walleye minnows yeah darn right that's cool he'll be a good eater got him oh that's a good one that's a good fish that's bigger than the last one for sure Sorry for the bad lighting, guys. These GoPros suck in the light. I felt this fish hit. It's another bird, but I can tell by how it's twisting. I felt this fish hit in my hand. It hit really good. Oh, yeah, this is another big one. It's another dandy. On the minnows. I did have the one hit on the worms, but that fish dropped it. Could have been something else, too, though. They must be coming in uh, burbot for, you know, seems how this is new to a lot of people. They're nighttime fish. That's part of why I came out here this evening. I wanted to get out in the dark. Um, I don't know, it's about 9 o'clock right now, I think. I'm going to stay till probably 11 but who knows if they keep biting good i might just say heck with them stay all night gotta get them when the getting's good god i hate when they roll and it feels like they get off it's not a good feeling this is a big one no this might be bigger than my first one because this is a heavier action rod and it's really putting it to it 
God, I, can, I feel when the sinker gets jarred in the rocks. I don't like that. crazy it's because of how snake like they are they're almost like an eel it's basically what they are is like a eel fish but <laughs> I gotta tell you this is definitely one of the funnest fighting fish that I've fished for I definitely like it hanging up in them rocks. I don't like that. <sighs> but that's the whole game. You gotta wear a fish out, guys. As you can see, I play with my drag a lot. That's why you always see me twisting on the reel. When you're fighting a big fish, that's the name of the game, is to wear them out. I mean, there's still always a chance of losing them, but if you take your time with them, you always got a better chance of catching them than if you were to just try and horse them, try and fight them in real fast. Gosh, he's right here by the wall, but I haven't seen him yet. These things get over 30 inches and this thing's fighting like it might be one of those. <laughs> I'm actually worried because I'm alone out here that one of these other rods is going to get a big one on and I'll be in the middle of something like this. I won't be able to get it in time and I'll pull it in. same size as my first one really ah. holy moly they sure wear your arm out though it's like a big cat on steroids yeah he might be bigger than my other one i can't get my hand around him oh i barely had this one hooked too probably because i felt him bite this one so he didn't swallow it like the others that's a beauty look at that awesome awesome fish <sighs> look at him curled just like a snake oh I just had a good hit on this one. Oh yeah oh yeah oh I think it's another smaller one Nope, maybe not. He was teasing me. He was like, hey, I'll come up kind of easy for you. And all of a sudden he's like, no, nope, not so much. <laughs> oh, it feels like another good one. This is just amazing, guys. I'll tell you what. 
if you've never done this before get out on one of your local piers if it's got rocks around and just give it a try especially this time of year this cold water cold weather this is supposed to be the best oh shoot oh he's around that other rod's what's going on he's got the worm rod tangled <laughs> Shoot, that's going to be a mess, especially the way that they twist. Uh, I don't think there's any way to get off of it. No, there's not. Just got to hope that I can get him up here without that other one getting snagged. Oh yeah, dang. He's bigger than I thought. There he is. That's another good fish. Nah, he's not that big, but he's bigger than bigger than the one. Probably good eating size, I'm sure. It's a nice fish. He's prettier too. Yeah, he's got that other one all tangled, so I'm gonna have to uh, I'm gonna have to shut this off and try and figure that out. Yep. Something biting on it. Yeah. You really catch a lot of catfish out here. Do they? Yeah. Yeah, there's a smaller one here. Oh, I can lift it. Oh, a little burbot. <laughs> Look at that little baby. Shit. That's the smallest bur. That's not a burbot. Yeah, it is. <laughs> no, that's a fucking. That's a sal or a mud puppy. Oh, it is. I'll be darned. I didn't see the legs. See the gills and stuff on the. Wow, other side? what's he doing this far out? I don't know. There's there's quite a few of them inside there. I is see there? A lot. Oh man, <laughs> that's a. It does something. He looks the same color as a burbot. Oh yeah, yeah. If I wouldn't have seen those legs, I wouldn't have known. And the gills. Yeah. I'll be darned. Slimy little suckers, right? Yeah, there. they are. He's the second one I've ever caught. First one was on a crawler. Crazy, dude. Yeah, they, they uh, crawl around the bottom a lot. I've seen a lot of them over in there. That's neat. I have to get a picture <laughs> of them. All right, guys, just so you can see here, this is actually a mud puppy. That's another species that you just don't see very often. Cool critter. I never would have imagined to catch one out of Lake Huron. <laughs> I'll, I'll let you try it. There he is. Come That's back. a good one, yeah. Ain't a mud puppy. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, I thought I had the smallest burbot that I'd ever seen. I did see one a little smaller than about 10 inches out here. Did you? Come cool floating up to the top. Oh, geez. And there was a big burbot that was floating around too, but it would go back down and just come up and float. I'm like, what the hell is going on with the burbot? <laughs> Yeah, I think there's a school come through again right now. They've been, like, I've gone about an hour now without a bite, and uh, when they come through, it's like crazy. My rods are all going, and really? yeah, they, they, they travel in school. Too. They must, yep. Yeah, that's all I can figure because literally, they all my rods start going, and it's like the last time they came through, I caught three fish within like ten minutes. Oh, that's a good light. Oh yeah, that's a good one. Holy moly, that's a big one. That's a big old burbot. You want me to give you a hand with that? Uh, yeah, okay. there we go. Uh, he's only got the one hook. <laughs> the other ones have been taking them all. Yeah, that's uh, the other two I got, or, or other three are about that same size. They're all big ones. I'm going to get that other rod out before I even... Yeah, they're, they're, they're really good eating, huh? All slacked up. That's a good sign. No. 
Oh, I lost that one. Shoot. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this show as much as I enjoyed making it. We caught some really great fish tonight. Um, ended up with five great burbot. And like I said before, these are one of the best tasting fish there is, hands down. Um, I just love catching them too. This was actually my first time getting into them, so I'm super pumped. But yeah, I hope you guys learned something tonight. I hope you guys were able to uh, enjoy this episode, and uh, I hope you get out and catch some for yourself because that is a lot of fun. And yeah, they're big and they put up a hell of a fight. <laughs>